Flag Media. Here we go. So I had a little hiccup. I uploaded. I talked for around uh, 15 minutes and there was no audio in my original video. So let's hope this one works out for the better. <laughs> okay, so uh, today's uh, topic is uh, Microsoft. Um, Phil Spencer had a interview where he goes on to affirm that Xbox will be opening up their own digital store on both iPhone platforms and Google's Android platforms. So this is a pretty big deal. So basically, um, the European Union voted uh, that come in March 2024, uh, both Apple and Microsoft have, excuse me, both Apple and Google have to allow third parties to open up their own mobile platform stores to compete directly with Apple and Android because they have closed markets, right? So what does that mean? You know, Apple and, and, and Google probably charge around the 30% mark for each game sold. They, they take a cut, probably around the 30% mark, um, which is, you know, it's pretty hefty. But, you know, Microsoft here is, is, is talking big game um, about opening up their store. So here we have a quote from himself. He says, uh, he goes, uh, we want to be in a position to offer Xbox and content from both us and our third-party partners across any screen where somebody would want to play. Today, we can't do that on mobile devices, but we want to build towards a world that we think will be coming where those devices are opened up. The Digital Markets Act that's coming, those are the kinds of opportunities that we are planning for. I think it's a huge opportunity. I agree. I think this is a big a big deal for Microsoft and I think it's it's uh it's a lot of there's a lot of people that are kind of sleeping on this. Um uh, the thing that I took away from that quote and and is really important here is that they're not planning on just selling Microsoft first party titles through this store. He said Xbox and content from both us and our third-party partners across any screen. Now, think about that. That means that Square Enix or, you know, uh, that they might be bringing in an RPD or a mobile version of Octopath Traveler. Um, they don't have to go to Apple anymore. Um, they can do two routes. Um, they can either open up a, a Square Enix store with all their, with all they sell is Square Enix stuff um, and be very limited on their, on their market, or you know, Microsoft can say, hey, instead of a 30% cut that Apple or Google is taking, we will publish it on the Xbox app for you for 10%. And they lose nothing. They gain everything. They have the third party there. They have the games. And they have something that is, is huge with gamers. And that is brand recognition, right? Xbox is a big brand. Um this moves me to, to a little bit uh, off of the topic, but I honestly believe that um, you look at Microsoft, they might be headed out of the hardware business in the long run, right? So, you know, getting a platform like Game Pass is hugely successful. For them. Microsoft is the number one a, a console war or a console uh, uh, generation. They, they tend to not do very well when they sell hardware. Uh, overall, I'm not saying they're not successful at it, but they've never won. They've always come in uh, second place or even, uh, you know, even last place. Um, you know, 360 came in last place, and that was a hugely popular console. But it lost to the Wii, and it lost to the PS3 at the end of the day. Um, so what's a loss leader for most of these uh, video game companies? It's, it's the box that they sell you, the machine. Um, Nintendo wants a dedicated platform. Sony definitely wants a dedicated platform. I don't think Microsoft does. I think Microsoft is very happy with things coming out to PC uh, and now even mobile devices that can handle the streaming uh, of Game Pass. Um, you could do things on Steam Deck with it. I mean, this is not, this is, it sounds like Microsoft is trying to move away from physical hardware. They might be selling you something like Google Stadia in the near future. They sell you a controller and uh, some kind of a Wi-Fi box and, and that's all they need to do because they're Microsoft and the Xbox brand is huge. Now we both, uh, now all of us know, uh, Microsoft is also looking to purchase Activision Blizzard. 
and they have plenty of mobile games uh, like the Candy Crush Saga and uh, Diablo Immortal. <laughs> Those two games alone are like half of the uh, the revenue for the first half of 2022. And King uh, is the developer for those games, and they and you know, and then Blizzard does uh, Diablo. This is it's just gigantic. If Microsoft acquires Activision Blizzard, and then they got the Candy Crush market, they got the Blizzard market, and then you know what's left? Microsoft really has an opportunity here to to pull away and and carve their own niche, much like Nintendo did, where they don't have to directly compete with Sony. They don't have to directly compete with, with Nintendo. They've got their own thing. They might move towards an all-digital future. Uh, I mean, that sounds controversial to a lot of gamers. You know, everybody wants that physical copy. Uh, but hey, you know, with the way things have gone in the last uh, three years with, with video game consoles, you really couldn't even walk into a Walmart until recently and pick up a PlayStation 5. Hell, you, you might not be able to do that right now. So what have you been doing? You, you've probably got yours online. You probably directly ordered it from Sony or Amazon, and it got shipped to your house. So, you know, if they move to an all-digital future where they sell you some kind of a, an Android box or a Wi-Fi box that connects to the Internet with the controller for 100 bucks. That might be it. That might be your Xbox platform in the future. They they avoid all the hassle of, of hardware losses as far as uh, money is concerned. And, uh, you know, they move away from physical games. They move away from a physical copy. And now they have an open platform, their own digital storefront on Android and on iPhone, which is huge. Biggest markets out there right now is mobile. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I honestly, I think that that Microsoft is 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 doing a a good a good forward way of thinking on this particular uh, subject here. Um, you know, hopefully, this goes alongside with you know other companies that might be looking to do this. But I honestly don't see um, them failing the way Google did or the way Luna did or even online years ago. You know, the difference again, and I'm, I'm going to go back to it, it's it's Xbox name recognition. Um, they have a brand, they have loyalty, they, they have people that will follow them no matter what. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's a real interesting uh, uh, a real interesting uh, story. So if, if you guys uh, have any ideas or if you think I'm just crazy when it comes to uh, my idea of an all-digital feature for Microsoft in particular, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if uh, you have any of your own ideas or you know what what you think of uh, this this storefront. Are more companies gonna come and do it? Is Nintendo next? Is Sony gonna open up a platform? Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure to check me out on twitch.tv slash uh, starflagmedia and um, YouTube, of course, at starflagmedia. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.